finally, hello again everyone. We're finally here to do, well it's a fairly quickish one this. Um, Looking at my two reviews, so just make sure I'm not looking away too much as usual. I wish I, I had better light in here, but anyway, you know, it's uh, it's not exactly as open as a conservatory, is it? Um, but yeah, I've, I've recently been given this by um, um, by a friend, the friend I've told you about many, many times before, who I've, you know, borrowed and also purchased stuff off, although he's actually given um, me this for free. Um, he's 37, he's still here as well, which you've seen before. Of course, it's a Lima Class 40. This time in BR blue with yellow ends, you know. Now of course, um, you know we're, we're familiar with 40s. I mean, I own one. Uh, well, an, uh, another Lima one. Of course, um, <clears throat> of course, Buckman's 40s are, you know, they, you know they look um, superb and you know fantastic detail. And um, this is an old model from a, I think um, possibly um, early or mid 80s, but it's in really really good um, good condition. I haven't seen it running yet. The light will be up again this weekend finally. Um, and well. And well, my friend said, I think last time um, he ran this, it was a little bit hesitant, but, well, uh, you know, uh, we could um, service her with some trap magic again. You know, of course, um, Lima is special to me because, well, you know, um, my first ever diesel was a Lima model. Um, being my other class 40, of course, I'll get her out in a second and we'll, and we'll see them both. Again, so yeah, you know, fi you know, you know, finally got time that um, to do another review like this after ages. Oh well, um, w um, a lot of the time, whenever I do have, uh, well, you know, I feel like I do have time. I'm a little bit too worn out due to extremely busy college reasons, uh, as usual. But after the next two or three weeks, things will definitely calm down. So I'll definitely ha um, have time to film all the shots for LNER Festival Two and get that uploaded in, and hopefully early or mid um, July. I'm sure you've all seen the trailer of it. Uh, Camera batteries on red, but it might just manage. So yeah, you know, um, let's have a look at, at her wheels. Um, of course, it's more expected, you know, for um, Lima Locos to act up a bit more. Cause, you know, the motors are more on the temperamental side. Again, my 40. Well, um, I think did it give her wheels a clean fairly recently, or again, you know, running with all new track, etc. Yeah, you know, all with the track magic as well. Uh, you know, um, you know, um, should I say um, she's fantastic. Um, she hasn't really run for a while, but the past couple of times I've run my 40, she's been brilliant again. She's not been the most reliable uh, of locos, but again, you know, um, again, that's more to be expected from from Lima, really, isn't it? So yeah, you know, exactly the same type of detail. Um, she, um, the extra parts, you know, um, uh, hang on, I'll just get, I'll just get my 40 out a second. Here we go. If just put, if I just put them both together, yeah, but yeah, you know, detail is ex is exactly the same. Um. Yeah, although, um, yeah, when I got this 40 just over 11 years ago now, I can't believe I've had it that long again. I got it not long after I got Flying Scotsman, um, yeah, in early 2004 again. So she was my second loco after Flying Scotsman, first ever diesel. So again, you know, one reason why, you know, Lima is special to me. You know, I'm always um, still carrying on with not many, but a few old, uh, well, you know, old Lima locos. But yeah, I f um, this one... I think I think she is a fair bit older than this. Well, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Well, again, of course, when I got this one, she was in the glass cabinet, and yeah, yeah, yeah. She, yeah, she was from Model Zone, and she was on display in the glass cabinet. You know, um, you know, just in case any of you thought that um, I don't know, maybe got her from a second-hand area or something. No, she was new inside the glass cabinet. And my dad put these um, white circle parts on. They've been on ever since. Not, you know, not, not taking them off. But this 40 only has one on each end. The others have gone. Um, I can't remember where he originally got it from. Uh, was it um, someone else who lives near him who also has an onboard railway? I don't think he has a channel. But um, yeah, I mean, you know, again, you know, overall good enough model. I mean, these, you know, well, um, you know, despite being temperamental, these, these Lima Locos certainly do do their jobs. I mean, you know, of course, they've got two very smart. BR Green Class 40s at Borough Hill. Well, one of them is in slightly better condition than the other. They had them both out for the Diesel Gala just, um, just, j you know, just back at the end of last month. I mean, you know, they've done a good job, you know, with delivery on, on this one. And, you know, it, um, BR Blue as well. I mean, um, um, put down which, um, you know, which you think you like best in BR Green or BR Blue. Uh, you know, of course, um, fairly basic detail overall. I mean, yeah, well, it's, I, I, you know, not too bad on the front there. Um, 
<laughs> I'm thinking, uh, which shall I, you know, which shall I show you? Know, because it's both the same detail. But yeah, uh, well, this is uh, this one's video, isn't it? I've I've done a review on mine um, a little while ago. Yeah, you know, fairly basic detail, non sprung buffers, but again, you know, it's to be expected. And again, I think my friend said it's about th about nearly 25, maybe 30 odd years old. But again, the detail is the same. But um, yeah, I mean, I wonder when this one was actually made because again, yeah, she was definitely new. She was on display in the cabinet when I got her from Model Zone in 2004. So if you think about it, not really that long ago, or compared to how old this, how how old this one apparently is. But yeah, you know, um, it's mo you know molded onto the window windscreen wipers. But again, you know, it's um, can't you know can't complain about that. You know, uh, um, at all for older Lima models. So yeah, um, I'll probably be doing another diesel gala towards the end of this year. You know, you know, like I did, I did one tw um, towards the end of last year, and there'll be hopefully another one this year. I'll, I'll, well, uh, next time I get the light up, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll, yeah, I'll probably give this 40 a try. Um, well, you know, again, depending how I am filming shots for um, the LNR special too. But yeah, at some point I will give this 40 a try. See, how, see how she runs, and hopefully she'll be featured in the next diesel gala. Yeah, you know, of course the. Intercity logo there. Uh, you can see, you know, well, uh, you know, speaking of Intercity on that logo, you know, we, you know, we all know who, well, you know, who very famous that that also represents. <laughs> very good friend of mine. So yeah, that's um, yeah, Lima Class 40 again, and sort of different boxes. Um, need to be careful with these ones, you know, because it's just a slip off box like that, you know. Um, you know, a one like this feels safer. But yeah, I think um, I think um, this was Lima's last type box. I think you know, from, from well, this is from 2004ish. Um, yeah, this is more older. You know, similar to my dad's old Lima. You know, Lima ones from the 80s. And yeah, 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 yeah and the older Lima logo as well. And um, then, well, they just sort of changed the color. You know, it looks like um, they changed the color of it. And put Lima collection on there in fancy writing. So yeah, that's that class 40.